Hello everyone, welcome to Sewing Tutorial for Beginners video. I am Jackie and with me is my daughter Ada. In this video, we're going to be learning how to make... Actually, my name is Ada Nelson. <laughs> okay, actually her name is Ada Nelson. Okay, in this video, we're going to be learning how to make this cute, cute gathered hurt. And this is Ada's oh, size. Oh okay. my goodness. <laughs> I think gathered skirt is... my size, actually. Oh, that's your right size, actually. Okay, I think gathered skirt is perfect for the beginners. It's simply because it's so easy to make. It's this straight line, straight stitch has a folding, oh, and the waist <laughs> is elastic. And also, you can make an adult version of this, of this skirt. Same technique, same step. It's just different measurement. This is too short for me. I would like to take you through the construction of this skirt so you have an idea what are we gonna be doing in this video. You're gonna have an idea what you're putting yourself into. <laughs> First is the hem. We're gonna be finishing the hem so neat. The row edges is gonna be tucked inside a fold, so we're gonna be folding the hem twice. The side seam now in this is very interesting. We're gonna be using a French seam. Yeah, relax. Don't be scared about the word French seam. French seam is so easy. And I think you're gonna enjoy making this seam to finish your garment. You're probably gonna forget about that surging machine that you're planning to buy. It's simply because French seam is way better than I wanted it. I wanted this. Oh wow, that is so cute. And we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing you how to make the French seam in this video so don't be worried and the waistband waistband is gonna be or on the waist is gonna be elastic let me turn the fabric or the skirt so you can see that inside of it look the inside is as pretty as the outside are you not excited about this <laughs> I think you're excited. Now, I'm sure you can do this. Let's get you started sewing and have fun. What is that one? <laughs> so the things that we need in making our goddard skirts are, we're gonna need a fabric. I am using a 100% quilting cotton fabrics because these fabrics, they are so easy to work. We're gonna need a tape measure to measure it. We're gonna need a fabric scissor or a regular scissor as long as it can cut your fabric, it's okay. We're gonna be needing pen to mark your fabric. And elastic. I am using a three fourth of an inch elastic. Something that will help you make a straight lines, a ruler. Safety pin, we're gonna use this to pull the elastic inside our elastic case that's the waistline or the waistband and pin we're gonna need this little pointy things to help us put things um, put pieces in place hold folds in place before we put them in a sewing machine we're gonna need our iron and ironing board in cutting our fabric let's go ahead and lay it flat but first, we need to turn it. Turn it right sides together. This is our selvage. This is a center fold. That is an edge. Now, in drafting or cutting our fabric for our skirt, we need two measurements. Your waistline and the length of the skirt that you wanted. My daughter's waistline is 20 inches and I will need a width of the fabric or the, the yeah the width of the fabric times two of her waistline. So 20 inches times two is 40. But this one, because it's folded, I can just go ahead and mark 20 inches because when I open it, it's gonna be 40 inches. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mark another 20 inches go lower parts of the fabric connect those marks with straight lines in this is the in and also on the at the straight line that we draft we're gonna be drafting or marking the length of the fabric I want my daughter's skirt length 
to be 12 inches finished that is from her waistline and a little above her her knee and to do that we will need to add three inches as seam allowances hem and elastic casing it's all in that three inches so it's 12 inches plus three inches is 15 inches and let's mark another 15 inches connect those two marks with a straight line now if your measurements don't like it's not enough for the the folded fabric you have to do you need to cut two pieces of fabric for example if your waistline is 25 inches and when we don't have enough 20, double 25 inches you need to cut your fabric 25 inches by whatever length plus 3 inches and another 25 inches by whatever length plus 3 inches I hope I explained that right and now let's go ahead and cut our fabric There we go. So when I open this fabric because it's folded, this is equal to 40 inches and 15 inches long. We have cut our fabric and now it's time for us to sew it. Do you remember the French thing that I was telling you a while ago? This is the time that we're gonna be doing it. So put your pieces together, fold your fabric, wrong sides together, make sure they're together, and the right side or the pretty side of the fabric is facing you. And this is another pretty side of the fabric. Now to do the French seam, or may I explain what French seam is? A French seam is a seam inside a seam. I don't know how to explain it I probably just gonna show it to you to do it the first step is we're gonna be stitching a straight line from here up to the end yes we're putting a stitch on the right side trust me on this so we're gonna stitch a straight line from here connecting those two pieces all the way here about one fourth of an inch seam allowance so yeah I'm gonna go ahead in my sewing machine and do that stitch and here is how it looks so we have a straight stitch along the edges about one fourth of an inch allowance let me try to show you and I hope my phone is focusing it and then we're gonna trim the excess allowance to as close to the stitches as we can about one eighth of an inch allowance left is good go ahead and turn that one there we have it and I want to show you again how close we trimmed it and now this is the fun part after we have the stitches we made the stitches we're gonna turn our fabric. Yep. Let's turn our fabric, exposing 
or the round side is facing you and this is our seam put it in your iron board and give it a good press what I want to do is I want to open the seam first give it a good press this is the seam I'm just gonna run my iron a couple times make the seam flat And then fold it. This is still the seam. Fold it where the seam is. Press that flat. Press it real good. And I'm gonna show you. So, the row edge will be sandwiched between this, your two fabrics. So that's how it's gonna look. This is the seam. That was your row edge. Remember the one that we trimmed? The one that was left, it's inside or in between the two fabric. Now, we're gonna go in our sewing machine. Run another straight stitch starting from here up to all the way down here with about 3 8 of an inch or half inch seam allowance from the edge of your project I'm gonna go ahead now put a straight stitch along the edge and that stitch will hide the row edges. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I have put my straight stitch along the edge I put about 3 8 of an inch allowance so this is how it looks I'm gonna put it a little higher so you can see now the row edge is gonna be inside the seam it's like inside it's encased so this is gonna act like a casing and the row edge is hidden in between that so if you open your fabric or your garment look at that it's a clean one and inside your garment it's gonna be a clean finish using a French seam isn't that so neat Yep, so that is French seam everyone. It's that easy. I know you can do that. The next step is we're gonna be we will need to turn our fabric again because we will be folding one edge. We will be working on the bottom hem first before the waistline. So this is gonna be the bottom hem, and this is gonna be where the waist, where the waistline. We're gonna be folding about one fourth of an inch all around, using your your iron to press it in, press the fold in place, and be careful because it's hot. After folding one fourth of an inch and pressing it in place around our fabric, 
we're gonna fold we're gonna fold again but this time it's gonna be one inch wide so we're gonna be folding one inch wide around And there you go, we pressed our fabric with one inch wide. Now what I like to do is to pin those fold so that they stay in place. It doesn't have to be that much of pin. We just want them to be in place when we go run it to the sewing machine. After pinning them in place, let's go ahead in our sewing machine. Let's gonna run a straight stitch line along the edge. We can put about like one eighth away from the fold edge of the fold, the fold edge, all the way around. So let's go do that. There we go, we have finished our hem. That's how the inside is gonna look, and this is how the outside is gonna look. Time for us to work on the waistline. It's gonna be the same as what we did to the hem. We're gonna be folding one fourth inch all around, and then going back to fold another one inch all around and pressing it. Okay, so we have put our pin. Now we're gonna go run a straight stitch. Same as the way we did to the hem, but this time we're gonna be leaving about one and a half inches opening so that we have enough room to slide our elastic around later. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a straight stitch all the way around. If you start here, you will need to stop here, about right here, yes.
Okay, we have put a straight stitch in our waistline. And this time, this is our opening. So go ahead and go get your elastic. To cut your elastic, the length of your elastic will depend on your waistline. My daughter's waistline is 20 inches. And what I do is I did that three inches from her waistline. That will give her, or the skirt, that will make her, that will make the skirt hug her, her waistline comfortable. Not too tight, not too loose. So go ahead and go get your safety pin. Poke one end of the elastic. Get your piece. Slide that safety pin inside that elastic case that we did. Pull it and pull it, making sure you don't twist your elastic as you pull it inside. And before you pull all the way, you don't want the end to go all the way inside too. So pin that in place so it, it will stay out while you are pulling. Because we're gonna be doing a lot of pulling here. Pull it until you find the opening And while you're pulling it, try to make sure that your elastic is not twisted. There you go. I can slowly, or I can see the form of the skirt now. Oh, <laughs> I can see the form of the skirt now. That's so cute. Remember, we folded one inch for the waist. It's because our elastic is. 3 4 inch so we had enough room to wiggle the elastic inside it's I think it's okay there we go the other end is out take off your safety pin take off the pin too and then try to connect them let I'm going to connect them or pin them together first and just make sure they're not twisted before we go make sure they're not twisted before we go to our sewing machine and put a permanent stitch to connect the two ends so when you're ready or when you're sure it's not twisted just pull this your fabric and a little and try to make room so you have room to do this to connect your Two ends. Now we're gonna be doing a couple of back stitches, straight back stitches to connect the elastic together. Let's go do that. And look at that! We are almost done. You're almost done. We just need one more step. Look at how cute that is. And one more step is to close our opening. So to do that, you go ahead, go back into your sewing machine, put it and stitch it together using a straight line, making sure that the elastic is not on the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. Yes, we are done. Give yourself a high five or pat your shoulder. Isn't this so cute? Now give it a good press. Yeah. So there you go. This is our first sewing tutorial video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned. I hope that this makes you or gives you more motivation to learn how to sew and I hope that 
you stay tuned with us because I will be or we will be uploading more sewing tutorial videos, beginner friendly projects, easy way to, to, to do it. Like I said, you can make an adult version of this skirt, just a different measurement. And yes, thank you for watching all the way to the end.